Uh, I already ranked this one. What is this even? Pokemon Academy. Never played that. Pokemon Battle Revolution. This is a nice game. It actually has much more uh, intimate animations than most games. And I think that this one is worth to be somewhere around... A. Yeah, I think this is a great game, honestly. I I've always played it with my um, neighbor friend. The got the Yeah, neighbor friend. Let's just call it that. Pokemon Battle... Tro don't know what that is. Already ranked. What the hell is that? Pokemon... I have never seen that before in my life. Then we got the blue and red rescue team. Or is it only blue rescue team? I like this game. It's just... It's the start to a new spin-off series and... Uh, the, the story goes like, uh, you're a human, you don't know what happened. And this is pretty much the story of uh, most uh, games. Um, in the end, you, you fight... Fuck, who, uh, the, the, who's the end boss again? Yeah, the, the, this is like the first three generations only. Um, this is a really... I, I, I really like the Mystery Dungeon spin-off games. As a whole. Uh, they've got such good stories. Uh, unfortunately... Much like the the original, uh, the the big games, they fell off later. Um, but what is what is the half of these? Uh, we got Colosseum. It's it's B tier. It, it's it's A tier actually. It's it's the same as Battle Revolution, pretty much. Uh, then we got Pokemon Conquest. I have seen things about this, but I've never actually played them. Um, then we got Pokemon. That what the hell is all this? Detective Pikachu, no, I, I can't speak for the life of Pokemon Dream Radar. Dream World, this was from the fifth generation, I believe? I, I don't know, man, I, I don't fucking I don't know half of these games. Uh, let's just skip to the ones I, that I do know. Uh, Darkness, Sky, and Time. I think that Darkness and Sky are, or Darkness and Time, are really great games. Uh, when it comes to Sky, I think this is my favorite game of uh, all time when it comes to non-spin-off. Uh, Sky has uh, a, a sky, sky, Darkness, and Time. Uh, time, Darkness, and Sky actually, uh, even after the end, they have their own thing. They have their own um, little twist at the end because you you are fighting the Olga, but at the end of it, as it turns out, you're not fighting the Olga. Dark Dark Rail was behind it the whole time. I really recommend Darkness and Time, and especially Sky. Because that's uh, the, the actual game you should play. Uh, what else do we got here? We got Pokemon Go Away. What's this? This is Pokemon Ranger. I did this like 10 years ago. When it first came out a little. And I, I liked them. And I liked the, them all. Uh, just, just a little. You know? They're, they're decent games. They got a nice story. Uh, you, you gotta remind yourself that... Um, a ranger or the, the Pokemon franchise is actually, uh, you know, they're, they're they're actually supposed to target children for their um, targeted consumerism thingy. And uh, yeah, I, I can't say too much for uh, the, uh, the Pokemon Ranger games as a whole. Uh, Pokebar, I, I I love Pokebar. This is a great game. This is a great game. Po Pokebar, Pokebar, yeah, targeted audience. Yeah, uh, you can't really make make up too much stories, which I actually hope that they will do with Pokemon Arceus. Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I hope that they actually do that. Uh, one day. Uh, that they just put a nice story in for like, uh, people who are over 16 year old and actually start to, uh, just don't start to do it E for everyone again. Uh, Pokemon Pinball. That is just so much in the head that I have never played before in my life. Uh, those are the mainstream games, most of them anyway. Uh, Pokemon Channel... Uh, My Pokemon Ranch, this is a decent game. It's like you can uh, you can take care of your Pokemon in that game. Uh, this one actually has a great story. Uh, you gotta remind yourself that this has been over a decade in some cases, because these games came out like 2006, 2010, somewhere. Uh, I think it's decent for a spin-off, especially on the Wii. A ni nice little story, you get an Espeon and Umbreon, or well, I, maybe that's the other one, you're, you're supposed to purify Pokemon in this one. Um, if you want to do that, uh, if you want to do them all, you're actually uh, having a lot of time in there. Uh, then we got... Is this Gates to Infinity? Does it say Gates to Infinity? 
Oh, it's Pokemon Mystery, Super Mystery Dungeon. Okay. Uh, decent. It's actually already turning to meh. But this one is decent. Because I think that the further you go the with the Pokemon thingies, it, the, the with the Pokemon... What are I going to call it again? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. The further you go with them, the, the worse they become. That's why they should have stopped at Sky. Uh, we got Poke Park. Uh, fuck this. I have, I have a ton of memories on this. It's... It's... Um, ah, meh, meh, meh. It's... it's yeah, it's, it's a decent game. It's I, I like it. Uh, what the hell is that? I don't know half of these games, honestly. Uh, Pokemon Rumble, Rumble Blast. Uh, here we got another one, Shadows of Elmia. I like this one. I, I've played this one somewhat more than the other Pokemon Ranger games, and I think it's a decent game. I, I like that you actually have to use the stylus, you know, to capture the Pokemon instead of just throwing a Pokeball, because they didn't have Pokeballs or something, or they didn't want to use them. I'm glad that there's so much Pokemon fans uh, in the chat. All two of them. <laughs> uh, does anybody else see a Pokemon game that they actually uh, that I haven't ranked yet that that people actually know Pokemon Rumble Pokemon Pinball why to Pokemon Go is that a trash can is that a trash can somewhere oh, of course there isn't um Pokemon Stadium, fuck. I know these from some Pokemon Snap. Some of these games I actually gotta play. I really wanna play them. Maybe I will one day. One day, you know. Pokedex 3D Pro. Why is this a game? Pokedex 3D Pro. Pokemon Pinball. I don't know why people are such in love with some Pokemon games. I think <laughs> that these are all the games that I like uh, for the rest of it and that I know. Uh, most of them are decent. Uh, Sky is. God tier, pretty much. It's uh, one of my favorite uh, spin-offs. I think it's my favorite spin-off of all time because, like I said, the, the storyline is just magnificent. It actually never. It it always makes me cry. It it never it never does not make me cry. Uh, the Ranger Guardians. I I don't know. It maybe it's already in between here somewhere. I mean, we got this one. We got this. No, that's Mystery Dungeon. That all three of them are here. I don't know if there's one more. But you gotta do with uh, the, the little box arts that I... That I, uh, <laughs> I, I can't really see them. But I like Poker Park, I like uh, the Mystery Dungeon. Unfortunately, after Sky, they went downhill with that too. With things like Bitter Cold and Dark Matter, instead of just making Pokemon. In order for me... To be able to rank them properly, I need to replay them. That's, that's with most of these uh, games, because I stick to uh, pretty much... Uh, the main, uh, the, the main spin-offs. Not, not. Hey, hey, hey! It's, it's not really an opinion. This is s s facts. You know, facts. Facts don't care about your feelings. But uh, I, f I think that's it. That's all. Of that. That's all. Uh, I don't know any more of these games. None other than I have ranked anyway. Yeah, I disagree. I disagree with everything. But uh, yeah, that, that's it, peeps. I would like to thank you for coming uh, tonight, and I will do much more of these TLS, by the way. I have tons of uh, uh, things uh, coming for uh, when I uh, uh, want to take time for this. I like this. I hope you all enjoyed it too. And um, maybe next time we will be drawing <laughs> Star Wars on paint. We don't have enough animations for that. <laughs> we can't afford enough developers <laughs> to make proper animations. <laughs> Grossing 100 billion dollars. Oh, thank you, people. And um, I hope to see you all again for the next. Uh...